All right, so let's take a closer look at the two different models and we can see one is obviously much smaller than the other. As far as the um, height that you can raise the handlebars, that's the most um, obvious way of looking at it, but also the deck, the rolling deck, the riding deck is also larger on the bigger model here. This one does have an integrated uh, light right here on the front. You have your brake on this side as well, little bell, as well as your controls for this scooter are gonna reside right here, as you guys can see. So you have your, let's go ahead and turn this guy on, your power button's right here, just gonna press and hold that for a few seconds, and that will turn on your throttle button is right here. This little mechanism right here is for locking it in place when you wanna carry it. These two rubberized grips. Now to assemble this was very simple. You're just gonna attach these two bars, and then you're also going to attach this little ring that you guys see right here and you're just gonna it's one screw it comes with all the tools that you're gonna need to assemble this the mechanism that allows you to break this guy down so if you wanted to open this up this right here okay really nice easy to reattach that again as i said this one has the larger deck okay and over here on our control side of things, we have a cruise control, we have a light control, and we have the ability to raise and lower the speed. Now, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this here on the screen, but right now it's at its lowest speed, which is about six miles speed, which is gonna be about 10 miles an hour. And then the highest speed is gonna be around 15 miles an hour. Now, this will travel up to about 15 to 20 miles, depending on the weight load, which is really nice. It also has an integrated light down here on the bottom. So when you have your lights on or you're using your brakes at night, this uh, panel will light up to allow people to know uh, that you're nearby when you're riding your scooter. You also have a brake light back here at the back, which uh, activates from the single brake control that you have right here. Now your brakes are housed, your brakes are housed within the motor in the back wheel. Show you guys that. Now, if we flip this guy over, I want to show you guys something that's unique. You guys can see that we have one absorber right here, and that's going to be great for the riding of these uh, with these wheels, because these wheels are your 8.5 inch wheels. They are solid rubber. Have that sponginess that you would have with the normal air inflatable tire. On this side, you guys can see we have this little magnetic little uh, flap right here. This does have a magnet in it, and this is where you're going to charge your scooter. That just pops back down. You have reflectors on four different points along the scooter. Really nice design. I mentioned that you can raise and lower this. And here are your measurements right here on the front. To raise it, you're just gonna pull this little bar, this little tab out like so. And now you can raise and lower the handlebars to whatever size you want to set it at. And then you're just going to lock this guy back in place and you're pretty much good to go. So hopefully guys, this video has been helpful, giving you guys some insight on this scooter versus their smaller version. I want to give you a comparison. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech and I will catch you all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.